Hola there, how you doing? Hope you're good. I'm good. Thank God it's Friday, TGIF, but this is just not an ordinary Friday. It's a raining Friday and it's raining down here in Ikeja, I'm telling you. People come in, we're expecting a lot of people on the show this morning, but they are caught up somewhere in the old town. You know Lagos, like when it's raining everywhere, it's flooded, and I can assure you most places are flooded this morning. So if you have students in school, especially little children, please parents, go out and pick them. Don't wait for them to come back home by themselves today. Please go out and pick your children, especially the toddlers. That I see children close from school when they are coming back from school. They walk all alone back home. But today is not the day you leave your children to come back home and go, please. Because everywhere is flooded. Even I love the weather, I used to tell people, raining weather is my best weather. Not because it's weather for two. Because my genius will say raining weather is weather for two. But I love raining weather. And to all our Muslim brothers and sisters, Juma Kumba today. And this morning, there's no time for me to do my top three stories. I'll just be introducing my guest straight up. You know I don't do it that way. I always have something to talk about. A lot is trending, a lot is happening in the political circle, entertainment, religious circle. A lot is happening, but we don't have much time today. So today, I'm going to be fast in my career. I'm going to be so brief in my interview and everything. Because of the rain, the rain delayed the guys that they couldn't get here on time. So we just have to walk with the flow. You know what I'm talking about. All right, I'm your host this morning, Teresa Adeyemi, on Peach Talk with Tessie. Remember, on Peach Talk, we say it the way it is. We don't hide nothing. And this morning in the house, I have Mr. Ulushegu Oboye. Am I right, sir? Yes, Oboye. Correct. Yeah, correct. All right, the MD and CEO of Fonsi Global Link. Yeah, Fonsi. Fonsi Global Link, yes, based in Abuja. Yes, correct. You're welcome to the show, sir. Thank you. All right, and I have again Mr. Daniel Chika Inigwe. Am I right, sir? Yes, you are. Oh, thank you. A representative from Asia E University, Malaysia. Good, Good morning, sir. Good morning. You're welcome to the program, sir. Thank you. All right, sir, before we go into Lagos Edu Fair, that is what I have here. Yes. Before we go into that, I want you to do a proper intro of yourself, sir, because I think I, I'm sure I didn't get it right. Okay. Um, my name is uh, Mr. Alicia Gondogoye. I'm a uh, the MD and CEO of Funusi Global Inc., um, an education consultant. Mm -hmm. We're based in Abuja, and uh, we literally what we do is we help students to get uh, first hand information about uh, school abroad. And uh, we're here this morning to promote uh, HIE University, yeah, HIE University in Malaysia, and also some other countries like, uh, um, like, uh, Canada, US, Australia, okay. uh, uh, Cyprus, Turkey, and the rest. So, but we are having an education fair at uh, Oriental Hotel tomorrow. Okay, but before we get to that, sir, okay. let me meet you, sir. Can I meet you from sir? Sure. Let me before I will meet you. Okay. Because in my, the information I have here, you came down all the way from Malaysia. Yes, yes. Okay, so let's meet you properly, sir. Okay. Uh, my name is Daniel Chika. Uh, well, I represent Asia E University. Uh, I've been in Malaysia for a while. I had my uh, studies in Malaysia and IT. And I've been working with Asia University for a while. I'm one of their senior executive in marketing. Okay, so we are actually here in Nigeria to, you know, to get students who can come into the campus for full-time studies and also promote our online studies because we are good in online studies also. Online studies. Yes. All right. I think I've been doing education for since last week. I've been into education, education, and today is still education again. Yeah. So what I have here, I have Lagos Edu Fair. Yeah. What do we mean by Lagos Edu Fair? What is Lagos Edu Fair all about? Okay, we it's just like education fair. So it's just okay. like a coming short of uh, talking about education fair. Okay. So it's in Lagos Edu Fair, especially because we've done in that where we've gone to jobs. And uh, we leave us in the nest before we have the water courts and Kano, uh, then Abuja. So that's why we're here to talk about the fair because it's tomorrow. And uh, we say we should go out to the online TV to tell them about the program. The program? Yeah. Okay, so when we say Lagos Education Fair is all about, edu it's all about education. It's all about education. 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 Yeah. All right, so what are the features when you say a fair, at least you know fair? We see a lot of things when we go to a trade fair, okay. wherever fair, the fair, fair, fair talks. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, it's kind of an exhibition. We okay. 
try to raise a bit of majorly Asia uh, University okay. and uh, from the we're going to exhibit uh, the, uh, it's an exhibition from the, the fair we're going to <coughs> talk about um, maybe the reason why you need to choose Malaysia as a, a study destination because there are a lot of uh, news out there I personally I also studied Malaysia after my degree in Nigeria here. Okay. So uh, if you want to hear the best, you have to hear from the person that actually lived there for three years, study and able to have a uh, graduate with a good grade coming to Nigeria. So, and a lot of students, they just go online, YouTube, Facebook, and all those bad things they hear. And actually, in most cases, it's not like that because actually we have some good students we have, uh, presently I have a student that just graduated first class in chemical engineering from Malaysia University. Uh, uh, it's the first class, we won a lot of awards. I have another one that uh, is assisted to Malaysia. Uh, he did, he came out with first class, he couldn't even go for master's, he went straight for PhD. And uh, he came out being the best first class too. And many of them, they have opportunity after their education. And Malaysia education is also affordable, this place is peaceful. Because it's a multicultural environment, we have the Chinese, we have the Indians, we have the local Malays, we have Portuguese, Aborigines, and all that, and they could be able to live peacefully for years. I uh, you know. So in terms of religion, though major majority of them are Muslims, but there's freedoms of religion too. Okay. So we, most of the students they are not aware. They're just in Nigeria here, and they, they hear about uh, some bad things happening there, and so I don't think I can go to that country. Telling you one of the best places you can study is Malaysia. You can study for education, it's affordable. And most of these uh, uh, UK university and all that is also they have their own campus also in Malaysia. So that's why we're here to to inform them. And when they come to the fair tomorrow, we'll be able to tell them more about uh, what we have for them. Okay, so the Malaysia is the Asia E University. Yes, yes. Malaysia e University. Okay, okay, okay. So, how do they secure admission? Is there any scholarship for the laymen? For the uh, women? At the event, Children? we have like a partial past scholarship, which is a ten percent discount for those who who got a who got a, uh, a good who got, grades. Who got yes, good grades. yes, who got good grades. Yes. Okay. Okay. We were giving them like ten percent discount for the first year uh, tuition fee. Uh, that is what we're offering on the event. Okay. So, uh, what I have here again, you have something like how to get permanent residence visa to Canada and Australia? Yeah, it's, um, you know, the Forensic Global Link is not, uh, we have a lot of, it's okay. a complaint. It's a complaint. But the okay, same thing, HIV do University okay. do a lot of things. So okay. The, since I also like an ambassador to them, okay. in Malaysia, I've been there. So, okay. the, the owner of the, uh, the marketing in this was, was he, he was the one that um, started the school. I think I think it's not there now. It's not in that school now. He started the school I attended, but now it's in another place now. Yeah, so they contacted me to represent them in Nigeria. In Nigeria but okay. Fulosi Global is actually, you know, doing a lot of things. Australia, a lot of people know because of Australian visa. Okay. We have a lot of people. Then we also uh, process permanent resident to give them advice and all okay. that. That's a good For one. those no, people that have skill. Okay, let's yeah. come back to Lagos Edifair now, since okay. that is something that's entirely. Mm -hmm. Alright, so for these students now that are aspiring to go to Malaysia to study, what kind of courses are available? Uh, uh, presently, we have a we have few courses online. Okay. Then uh, we have few courses for full-time studies, like uh, okay. uh, bachelor's in uh, uh, business administration. Okay. Okay, bachelor degree in uh, information communication technology study. Okay. okay. We also have our MBA full time studies. These are few programs they can do full time studies. Okay. So they can do it online or the travel over there. Yes. Do. Yes. Well, which one is better? Uh, I think. As someone, as an experienced person, but like I want you to advise me, like which one should I go for? Like if I want to go. For it's like not that. all the program that is uh, online. online. Yeah, okay. not all the programs now are online. Yes. Now I understand this now. Okay. The ones that are more online as a MBA, you know, master's, okay, master's degree okay. and PhD, you have that online. Okay. Okay, but the bachelor degrees are more full time studies. Okay. Yes. But how affordable is this? Ah, uh, it's it's quite it's quite it's quite cheaper compared to US, Canada and Australia. Okay. The fees are quite reasonable, yes. Okay. 
So the students, once they get admitted, you're going to provide accommodation for them? Yes, we, can, we can provide that. Okay, you can. We it's can very provide. much that you do. Yeah, yeah, it's a thing of choice. If they feel like living off campus, yes. But if you want us to take care of the accommodation, we can do that. Okay. So for a normal Nigerian student going out there to study for like how many years? Uh, bachelor degree is normally three years. Three years over there. Yes. You know, in Nigeria, it's not three years. is also better because guys, exactly. uh, exactly. this kind no of strike, no, 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 you know from the day one, no you know parties, the time. No, <laughs> no, no, you know the time. On the row, row, row. I've been the there for eighteen years. Actually, wow. it's part of my. Malaysia is considered as my second home. I've been there for a while. Okay. Yeah. So, what should the students come in to the Lagos Edu Fair? What should they expect? Is there only for students? Well, we know we talk about uh, those that want to migrate. They can also come. We can, okay. We advise them. I think mm. this morning one of my students just got uh, his uh, permanent resident visa called. I say, well, I did everything for me here today. They complimented that. So, um, for those working that want to migrate, they can also come. But you know, you need to have the skills, you need to work. Pass your IATS English proficiency. Okay, what what criteria? Yeah, you need to have you all those things. But meeting. if you don't actually have that, you can come at least to have information about you know getting prepared, you know to you know to know what to do because uh, information is power. If you don't have information, you are kind of limited. You know, mm -hmm. so we are providing everything free of charge. They are not coming to pay a dime for mm -hmm. this program. You know, so uh, I think. Um, uh, that is what we're going to do tomorrow. Just okay. provide them because uh, we actually most of most Nigerians fall into our own hands. People don't really give them enough information. They don't know. They just get to a country. They just tell them me too. But we at Funosi Global Link, we're going to tell them everything from the beginning. Mm -hmm. They have to look at whether they can afford it. They have to look at maybe after studying in Malaysia, they want to migrate for their masters in New Zealand, the UK, oh. and everything. We can still give them advice. We have a lot of our students that are finishing from Malaysia, save a lot of money. They were able to at least travel to maybe do their masters in the UK or Canada. You know, it depends on their choice. Or some even prefer Malaysia because the place is peaceful, so they have to stay there. I know, you know, we Nigerians, we have this mentality that Malaysia, if you want to say your kid, me and you. No, 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 there's no such thing. Actually, there's no such thing. Actually, right. actually, you, actually, there is no place you will be, you will not see bad people. Bad people, yeah. Because when I got to Malaysia first, mm -hmm. even the citizens, they are kind of, oh, when you say you're in Nigeria, it's as if they don't even know any other country. Mm -hmm. If you are coming from Togo, from Benin, once they see you're a black man, they say you're in Nigeria. Why? Because some of our Nigerians, they didn't do well. Let's just say that. But we have a lot of people that also represent us very well. In fact, one of them is uh, Professor Patrick. I met him when I met, when I got to Malaysia. He just finished his master's. No, funny enough, that time he had Asian Day. Malaysia was still accepting Asian Day for masters. Yeah. He did it in UPM, finished everything. But now he's a professor. He's meeting with the, the Prime Minister the of Prime Malaysia. Minister, yes. Is it this week? Yeah, yeah, yeah that was last, last week. week. Yeah, last, last week, week yeah. because he was working on the project. He's already helping the comp uh, the country. Meeting with the number one man, you know. Okay. So with that, we are kind of redeeming our image that no, when you see Nigeria, Nigerians are brilliant, Nigeria hardworking. We tell them, go to Nigeria, you see people out they hustle, how they do a lot of stuff. So don't just think that uh, all Nigerians are first stars, they are criminal minded. It's not true. So we should be, we are able to shake that impression, and I believe they are. Is the place is getting better. You can't blame them because few of them too. They just use student visa as a means to enter a country and they stop going to school. Mm -hmm. So that's why we are providing this edu edu fair to have quality students, not those people that really want to just go there to do other stuff. I mean, education. Okay, but well, I want you to enlighten me on this because I know people too might not understand it. Either. If to get an admission to this Asian E University, yeah. Like, you know, in Nigeria, we need five credits to enter the university. Yes. So we need a jam. Yeah. No, no, we, we, don't need, we don't need jam there. Okay. Only your yeah. O level. Yeah. We just only need the O level. level. Only O level. Yes, yes. yes. No, no. we don't know. We don't set any exams. Again, no enter exam and all that. Some of the oh. schools also, we don't even need English tests because we believe Nigeria will speak English. Oh. That's yes. true. Yes. That's true. So oh, okay. you just need your O level for bachelor, for master's. You just need your, your degree and your transcript. Oh. And your, that's all your CV. Yeah, okay. I think during the process we do, we get confirmation from Malaysian authority for approval. Yeah. They will process your visa, you apply VFS. So 
That's a good one. If yeah. you have the money, it's very, very good. You don't yeah. need a jam wahala. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I can vividly remember I sat for jam like four times. My brother, that's and another thing. I just thing. stayed at home like that for like three or four years. So and imagine I finished three, three, school at a very, three, very young age. Three, three years you are done. You don't know for you know, three years you are done because... May God provide for our parents. That, that amen. We parents let God provide for us. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> sometimes, most of these uh, private universities in Nigeria, Know, when you cons you you compare contrast, you discover that it's a CBSC in private investing in Nigeria because the money is so affordable. It's so affordable. You know, mm -hmm. it's so affordable, and uh, mm -hmm. you you there's nothing you can't compare Nigeria uh, certificate with foreign certificate. Okay. Let me give you an instance. I have uh, someone that time he finished from university in Nigeria, bachelor. He called me that he want to come to Malaysia. I said, well, can you afford it? You can manage. Okay, come come over. He came over for masters in entrepreneurship, yeah. And now I'm telling you, you got a full scholarship to study wow. a PhD in New Zealand. Mm -hmm. Why we have some people with first class in Nigeria masters? You send your research proposal. In fact, some Nigeria they don't even know how to write a research proposal. Okay, give me. You want to do PhD? Come up with a research proposal because they are not used to it. Mm -hmm. You know. So you have someone graduating with. Uh, uh, a grade in uh, master's level, and yet to know how to put up research proposal today, you can't blame them. You understand? Because yes, I've seen the system. But whereas we're in Malaysia, presentation, research, and all, you are exposed to it. The and they know when you're talking about qualification all over the world, Malaysia education is respected. Mm -hmm. You see the rating of Nigeria, the, the university is so low, you know. Mm -hmm. Nigerians are not pumping money. The government of Nigeria, we are praying they, they will. They will do better. Pump money into education to to be able to 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 standardize it. All right. So, so when exactly is this fair coming up? Tomorrow. Because I have beauty queens in the house. That's Tomorrow the Saturday by ten a.m. By ten a.m. Yeah, at a rental hotel. Okay. In Lekki. In Lekki. So the good thing is, we mentioned if you know you have you like you you have busy you don't want to travel mm -hmm. you can still uh, enjoy online. the online program yes. masters. PhD, and, uh, PhD master teaching and all that. All right, before we leave the segment, because I got three beauty queens in the house this morning. <laughs> the, the latest means the most beautiful face in Nigeria is living in the house. Is, she's in the house. They are in the house. They are three. Three different categories and they are in the house and you're going to meet them all. So before we close the segment, what do you have to say? One final thing to say before you leave to the people out there. Well, we're just uh, telling the people of Lagos, you're a mother, you're a working class. Just trust me as possible to find yourself there. Don't allow rain to stop you. We don't know what will happen tomorrow. Just make sure you are there. This is just a real opportunity. It came all the way from Malaysia because of this program. Yes, and also I left Abuja. I, came, I was in Yola yesterday you know, because of this. So I flew from Yola to Lagos because of this. So we put in much into this. And uh, you just come over. Scholarship opportunity. We have some schools we can get 50%, 25%. I know that. I just come tomorrow. We'll tell you more about it. Okay. All right. Thank you very much for coming to Peach Talk with Tessie. Eh? Hope you. to have you some other time. Thank you. All right. Go nowhere. I'll be back after this break.
Friday, like I said. I was expecting three queens on set, and I have two. One, she's somewhere, somewhere stuck in the old though. I told you, everywhere is flooded today. To cut a long story talk short, you know, talking is what I love doing most. All right, now let's welcome the beauty queens in the house. Good morning. Good morning. All right, I have the most beautiful face in Nigeria. Welcome. Thank you. Say hello to viewers as well. Hello. And the other queen, well, I didn't get your category the other most day. Most beautiful face in Nigeria, tourism. Tourism, most yes. beautiful face in Nigeria, tourism. Yes. And most beautiful face in Nigeria. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, look at the crown dazzling. Yeah. You guys are looking good though. Thank, Thank you very much. All right, so now let's start with most beautiful face in Nigeria, 2019. How was your experience in the house? Oh, I had, the experience was, well, I felt like, well, I don't know what to say, but it was tough. It was like, tough? For the contestants, yes. A lot of contestants. Yeah, the punishment and the contestants, it was a lot of competition. A lot of competition. Yeah, they had to put more effort and mm. yeah, I had to pray that God should help me because of this beautiful contestant <laughs> that I've seen around me. Okay. <laughs> it wasn't easy, was but it was by the grace of God I could. You pull through. Yeah, I pull through. Skill through. Yeah. All right, so to the most visible face in tourism, Nigeria tourism, what was your experience in the house? Can you share a little bit of your experience? As in the toughest one, the one that was like, wow, oh, this is so tough for me. Uh, I think the toughest was when I had to do 50 squats. 50 squats? Yes, for I, real? I came late. So as a queen, you don't come late. Something I've learned in camp. Okay. So I came late and then I, I, I got punished. But you I came late to today? Do, <laughs> no, because due to the weather, due to the weather, yes. the weather yeah. But then when we in camp, I came late and then I had to do okay. squats on heels. So I guess that was the toughest. The toughest. Other contestants, I felt we had equal advantage. Equal advantage. Yes. So. All right. Was there actually? What's your name? Uh, my name is my Aisha Esebun from Cross River State. From Cross River State. And my story is My name is Chima Messi from Delta State. From Delta State. Yeah. All right, Aisha, was there a time you felt like you wanted to quit in the house? Like you felt like quitting, like what is all this? What is even all this all about? Ah. Not really. Huh? Not there was no time like that? Yeah, there was no time. Because I knew I came for a competition and um, I put all my bed. I was very prepared. Yes. Okay. So, and you was, what well, do you expect it to come out as face of tourism, as, as a face of Nigeria for tourism? Well, actually, Where were you expecting that? I was expecting to be the winner. The winner? I was winner. expecting to be and was also facing Nigeria tourism. I was expecting to be the winner, but then I actually got, I also got a crown. So okay. it's a win win for me because I got a crown. Yes. Yeah, I love that. I love that. I love that. So now, what is your pet project now? I know you should have a pet project. Yes, I do. What are you working on now? Okay, my pet project is on domestic violence. They do a one project and for okay. less privilege. Domestic violence, like I'll stop at nothing to join forces with social crusaders to fight against domestic violence which has become a caring desma in our society. My pet project will be tagged Operation Rescue the Vulnerable. Okay. So when you say you have domestic violence, are you talking about the women alone? Yeah, or both the women and the men. And the men. Yes, and okay. children. And children. Yes, like the less privileged, the children who are suffering, the roadside children and who don't have school uniforms, school bags, or even their parents cannot even send them to school. Like we have some remote villages in our local government that children are really suffering, they don't go to school, no school uniforms, no sandals, no writing material. And their parents don't have means of survival to support their children to go to school. Mm -hmm. So my pet project, I want to fight, I want the government to assist this less privileged so that they can be able to have in life. Right. That's yes. a very good one. You are actually a queen with a brain. You know what you want. Yes. You know what you want to do. Yes, and I pray you're going to get there. Amen. Thank yeah. you. All right, so um, it's the tourism, it's the tourism phase, tourism. What is your own pet project? What are you working on? I'm working on graduates, fresh graduates from school, because we both know there's a, decrease in, there's a decreasing rate in the geography of employment. So okay. I'm working with graduates that are freshly out of school. When you know what you want, you have that even talent. I'm working with you to, on how to exercise your talent okay. without maybe having a job, a nine-to-five job or something, working with what you have, like okay. enriching yourself by yourself. By yourself. Yes, so that's what I'm going to be doing. So basically going around, going to neighboring communities or societies or even states, because I'm tourism, so I have to 
reach out to, to as many persons as I can in different mm -hmm. states. So I'm working with graduates, new graduates or fresh graduates in different states, mm -hmm. empowering them and letting them know they can do things on their own without waiting for a 95 job or a white collar job. Okay, you know it takes two to tell me. Yes. Are you a graduate? Yes, I am. Okay, from which school? University of Benin. University of Benin. Yes. Oh, that's a very good one. Yes. So after being, after this, now what next? You're still going out there to compete, to contest the game? Of course, I'll contest for Miss Nigeria and also I was going to politics and again I was going to movies. The dream is high. Yeah, very high. Yeah. For you. Not at all. <laughs> all right, sweet. So what's next? What's next after this? Um, but I believe there should still be most beautiful face somewhere in the world that you have to go with other contestants yes, outside yes, Nigeria. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, there's Miss something Ward, like that. Yes. yes. That's Miss World. Miss World. Miss World. Oh, so you're going to represent Nigeria for Miss World? Of course. Yes. Oh, that's a very good one. So what's next after? Um, I'm looking forward to having collaborations with bigger brands. Brand okay. where I can I can be a commercial model, mm -hmm. market brands okay. like use my physique, my face, okay. my talent, like speaking to you know enrich myself and also make other people feel better or feel educated. So I'm looking forward to working with different brands, big brands. It could be whichever. I I don't mind actually, but I just know I want to have collaborations with bigger brands where I sign contracts and work with them. And making, I uh, also make sure that not just working to make money, but then making sure that other persons are comfortable using my okay. status. Yes, yes status. Society, yes. All right. Let me quickly ask, ask this because I love gossip a lot. That mm -hmm. day that you won, what exactly did you get? Uh, I got a lot, an official car, and okay. and um, a movie, like to feature in a movie, and oh, also that's good. Yeah, commercial money. Commercial money. Yes. Wow. And a lot of things. You must have money now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what did you get as well? Um, contracts, basically. Okay. We have to sign, though, okay. but there are contracts coming on the way. And I'm also hoping that small brands reckon with um, Zanzi Entertainment, that is the platform that we emerge queens yes. on. Okay. Yes, and um, we're also giving this platform. You know, in Nigeria, when you say you are this, they expect a backup, something pushing you forward. So I guess, hi, as a queen, we gain that platform, someone to stand in for us and say, okay, these are queens from this particular platform. Okay. Yeah, okay. so we gain the platform, okay. and then we, we also have some contracts we're working on, but we're also looking for more contracts. Awesome. Right. Yes. Okay, that's a very good one. So shout out to Zanzi Entertainment. I see yeah, you are feeling you. So, <laughs> so before we round up, it's time for me to go. You girls didn't come on time, but I have a lot. More okay. fun than this, but next time there's always another time. You. Since you have a lot of living projects you're working on, you definitely come back again. Yeah, sure. All right. So what do you have to tell people that you have? Okay, to my fellow girls out there, mm. I would like you to follow up your dreams and never give up. Never be discouraged by people or your parents. Your parents should always encourage you and go for what you believe in, and always hope in God that things will get better. All right. Thank and you, you Miss Torizin. Um, to everyone out there, not just girls, guys, girls, you guys, you have it in you. Everybody has, has that, that thing, that push. All you need to do is just look for it. for what you are. All right. Again, Thank you very it. much. It's time to go. If you've enjoyed Fish Talk with me today, join the same time next week Friday. By God's grace, 11 a.m. to 12 noon. Till I come your way again, I am Teresa Adeyemi. Do have a great and lovely weekend. Bye-bye. And remember, this weather is weather for two. And it takes two to what? To tango. Bye-bye. <laughs>